you're still watching ways now today is find a rainbow day the adage <laughs> april showers bring may flowers may be true but april showers also bring rainbows and today is a day to go out and look for them despite the lockdown and the virus please take out time today it was in the evening to go and look for a rainbow <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will at take the that. bright side. Did you, but did you look up for a rainbow today? At all. At, not at all. Because um, I will take that on, on a figurative level, not literally, because um, in every dark cloud there is a silver lining. In mm. the midst of all our challenges, we tend to find the good. Yeah, find yeah. the colors that yes. brings, you know. Give us, gives us joy. In the midst of the lockdown, we try to bond. We try to, you know, interact with our loved ones. <laughs> Auntie Bondas. And reconnect. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. So, so we have our today. darling Akanimo Oji. Is she there? Joining us via Skype. Akanimo, are you there? Oh, okay. We're supposed to have we're supposed to have Akanimo join us. So we'll we'll, we'll connect with her um, to tell us what she found in today's news. She's joining the show yes. via. Skype. Thank God for um, technology. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, but what did you find for us in the news? Uh. <laughs> Um, in the news today, we, what I discovered was uh, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, has, um, is calling for us to, or the security personnel to actually um, handle citizens with care. And this is as a result of the fact that a lot of individuals or citizens in Nigeria, due to the lockdown, are being manhandled by security personnel currently. Mm -hmm. And this happened in a, um, I think there was a video on it in um, Port Harcourt, no, not in Port Harcourt, in Wari. Mm -hmm. And uh, another one also happened in, um, in Ekiti State also. I think we should go so, for the video, but we should, yes. well, we should warn, because you were saying something about the graphics and yes, all of that. Yes, the graphics are, are quite, um, they, are, they, they are graphical, so you can't, act, if, you, if you know you have, you can react to it, please uh, don't watch okay, it. We'll call for the video much later. I, yes. I, like, I like the fact that they're speaking on, because I saw, um, mm -hmm. what's his name, uh, Comedian Sako. Okay. It, it was quite a funny video, because the guy was talking and was, it was explaining the lockdown. Mm -hmm. with his phone and recording the street that the streets are quiet and all of that mm -hmm. then all of a sudden security i see um a, a truck uh, sorry a van oh. coming with um security personnel and mm -hmm. immediately they got he, the guy was saying i'm a reporter i'm a reporter and they pounced on him okay i saw that video <laughs> you know it was quite you know because sako tagged the reporting mm -hmm. gone wrong and all mm -hmm. of that but I mean, that's really scary. So but there was also another one of them also. We don't even know if this is actually true. This is another aspect of fake news yeah. of them actually um, telling a young star to swim through the gutters. The gutters. I he saw that video as well. as well. I saw that so, video as well. I, I'm, and I'm not sure if that video is during this time or is a video that was, you know, happened dug, previously. Yeah, that, that someone dug up from, from the past. So I, I would suggest that in the course of all the lockdown, even if the security personnel are actually talking to them, um, trying to get their attention, they should sit. They should just listen to them. They should try to be civil with them. That way, probably they don't say obscene words to the security personnel. They, in turn, will not react negatively. Mm. I think so I should, think it's a two-way street. Yeah, we should look at that video because yes. it's quite. Um, it's quite. Um, <laughs> it's a sad, graphic. Yeah, it's a sad situation. It is exactly. Oh my Ooh. And I think they kept on telling him not to show emotions as well. So it, it was so bad. I mean, swimming through the murky waters of the gutter, it is so bad. You know, I, I, when I was on my way here, you know, I, I thought, I mean, the, the personnel I saw on the, the security personnel I saw on the road, they were civil. quite civil. As, and I that mean, is what some we I didn't, mean. I didn't, in fact, funny enough, apart from the first checkpoint from my house, I, the other ones, I didn't even bother to take down my, I just um, flashed window, my ID, your ID and, you know, immediately they, they, they say just, you, go you know, by. so they're quite civil. I so mean, this I is wonder really where they're sad. getting how this you, from, Yeah, how can you, you know? And is this really true or is just, oh, this is really, really And sad. another thing is, did they cooperate with the security personnel when they saw But them? even if I do not cooperate, um, mm. EC, mm -hmm. right? This is you very don't have to treat the humanizing exactly. that you put someone in the gutter. He could have been infected by some sort of virus. So or if anything, Corona does not kill him, that will kill this him. This will kill him. <laughs> Definitely, you you fall sick. Absolutely, from this. absolutely. I mean, it's really, really, really sad. It's gross. 
no, that's that's not mm -hmm. it. I, and I'm happy that they are calling for exactly. You know, yeah, they are calling exactly. for it. Exactly. Well, in, in my own um, story, our darling information minister, Uti. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, uh, uh, no, the federal one, not our internal. <laughs> we have our own internal. <laughs> Okay. Information Minister, okay. um, um, Lai Mohammed was Lai talking. Mohammed, okay. Yeah, he was talking and he was saying that um, he's the Minister for Information and Culture. He was yes. saying that um, the federal government may extend um, what's it called the lockdown. And in, in fact, I, I need to quote <laughs> one part. He was saying something about mm. if we do not, should Lagosians <laughs> and residents, if they do not behave. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm wondering, is it a function of our behavior that would warrant uh, an extension or oh. the actual figures that the pandemic is, is um, reading yes. that would warrant uh, an extension. Misplaced priorities, would you say you know, that? So I, I think that statement was rather, I mean... It, I, wasn't, it wasn't right because I think he should have been more... Um, Another then, way well, at more. the end of the report, though, he mm -hmm. thanked a lot of people that, and he was saying thank you for the cooperations and mm -hmm. all of that. But he had already, you, so for me, I, I would <laughs> have felt, yeah, I, I would have felt that you, sh you should have said something about um, controlling the numbers would require us being in one place, you know. So if you if you don't sit in one place, we cannot really tell if by the end of that two weeks mm -hmm. lockdown or fourteen days lockdown. There won't be any other case so coming up. So he should, words, he should yeah. have been more objective in his. Well, not even really objective. It, just be a lot more because, empathetic and holistic in your. Yes. Re, not in, just saying threats. You, you don't. don't do yeah. That, if you don't behave, behave so in what sense? Emotional people about are. People it. are. They are going crazy. And people are hungry also in the process. Yeah. You know? It doesn't make so any it doesn't sense. Doesn't make any sense. So I wouldn't know if we we have Akanimo now, or we should probably just. Um, but I think. Um, uh, okay, so is I think ready? we'll take we'll take a quick break. When we return, we'll, we'll go into the conversation of the day. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.